Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up OBS to stream and record League of Legends. League of Legends actually has two different clients that we have to work with. It has the in-game client right here, and it also has the store client. So I have OBS running in the background here, and I have a practice tool match running right there. Let's go ahead and begin. In the bottom left corner under scenes, we're going to be adding a new scene and call this LOL. Under sources right here, we're going to go ahead and click plus and we're gonna add in a window capture. And we can call this LOL IG, just like that. First thing that popped up was window League of Legends.exe, but we have a black screen. If that is the case for you, go ahead and change this capture method right here to Windows 10 and that should solve the issue. Make sure the match priority right here is same executable and hit okay. If there is still a black screen right here, go ahead and tab back over into the game Try clicking around just a few times, and if that still hasn't solved your issue, we can try a different capture method. For our alternative capture method, go ahead under sources and add in a plus, add in display capture, and just click OK. It's going to start capturing your monitor. You're going to want to make sure your capture method is Windows 10, and hit OK. The last thing that you can do is you could move OBS into the background, like minimize it, or really handy feature right here under settings under general make sure this is selected right here which is hide OBS windows from screen capture I'm gonna move forward with this window capture right here that I have set up League of Legends.exe now we are all done with the in-game client so we can go ahead and exit and then set up our store client capture alright so for setting up our store it's gonna be the same process under sources click plus window capture Call this lull store and we'll see that the first thing that popped up was league client ux.exe go ahead and make sure the capture method is set to windows 10 and the match priority is set to executable and hit ok the next thing is this is going to be uh, scaled down a little bit but no problem just go ahead and click it once it has this little red outline you can scale it up and move it around all right Next, we're gonna be adding a watermark. So under here, click plus, add text, and call this watermark. And you can type whatever you'd like here. So for me, I'm gonna type in youtube.com slash at max level. And I'm gonna change the font to Georgia. And I'm gonna add a little bit of an outline to make it easier to read. Bump that outline up just a little bit and change it to black. See how that looks. All right. So we have that now. YouTube.com slash at max leveled in the bottom left corner. And I can add in an image as well under sources. You can add any type of image you'd like. So I just have my channel picture right here. And we're going to go ahead and scoot that to the side. Add in a picture in the bottom left corner like that. All right. And the last thing is a webcam. Video capture device, okay. It should select your default webcam. Go ahead and scroll down and it should set to device default, but that's a lie. So I know my webcam is a 1080p webcam. OBS, for whatever reason, doesn't think it is. So change the resolution to 1080p and you'll see I have a much bigger webcam now. Go ahead and click okay. And you can scale the camera up and down and move it around just like we did with the watermark. So have it in the bottom right corner, just like that. And it looks perfect. And the last thing we're going to be doing here is under sources, make sure that the game is on top of the store like this. The reason why is sometimes the store can glitch out and it'll be running in the background while you're playing the game. Uh, if it's not completely hidden or minimized, then OBS is going to be capturing that instead of the game. Now we're going to be moving on to audio. So we see under the audio mixer right here, we have my microphone, we have desktop audio, which defaults to whatever speaker you have connected, and we have video capture device. So if you do have a webcam that has microphone, go ahead and mute it, and then you can actually click this little button right here and click hide. Now our audio mixer looks nice and clean because it only has the two active sources. So next we're gonna be going under settings. Under settings, we're going to be going to audio. Make sure that you have the correct speaker or headphone set up for your desktop audio. That's wherever the game's audio is being routed. 
Next, make sure you have the right microphone set up for your mic. And we're going to be going over to video. Make sure your resolution is set to the resolution you want to record on and your frames per second is matching as well. Finally, we're going to go to output. Scroll down to recording. For league, I like to record indistinguishable quality, but that makes a really large file size. So you might want to bump it down to high quality. And the last thing we're going to be doing is scrolling down, go down to audio track, make sure one and two are selected just like that. For streaming, we're going to change our video bit rate to 7,000 and change our audio bit rate to 192. Make sure the encoder preset right here is P4 medium. And go ahead and click OK. Now under audio mixer, we're going to go ahead and click the little three dot button right here, advanced audio properties. And we're going to make sure that our video capture device is not recording to any of the tracks. We're going to make sure that our microphone is only recording to track two and make sure that our desktop audio is only recording to track one. Now, if you record a video like this and try to upload it directly to YouTube, it's not going to upload the audio as well. But if you edit your own videos, this is really handy because it's going to record your desktop audio and your microphone audio on two separate tracks. And both of those can be individually edited in your video software. So that makes taking out vocals really easy, or you can boost vocals, reduce the game audio or vice versa. It makes editing just that much easier. All right. So we are all set now. I'm going to go ahead and jump into another practice tool match. And we'll see that it automatically swapped over to the game. It looks pretty good. So obviously you don't want to have the webcam in the bottom right corner or the top left corner because that's where like, kind of critical info is. So we can just go ahead and move this around and all right. And now that looks nice and professional. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of the game. And now I'm going to show you how to connect to. All right. So we're on twitch.tv over here, settings, stream, copy our stream key, go ahead back to OBS settings and right here under stream we're going to change that to twitch use stream key paste and hit apply and now you can start streaming it'll immediately connect to your channel nice and easy youtube is a little bit different but we're going to go ahead and show you how to set that up too all right so now we're going to change that to youtube and go ahead and click connect account select whichever account you want to use and then just go ahead and follow the steps and then you'll get this nice little message authorization completed successfully you can now close this page now youtube is a little obnoxious because it won't let you go live on a new account or an account that hasn't gone live before without like a 24 hour uh heads up so basically just go to youtube and you're going to find in the top right corner over here little create icon hit go live basically just follow the steps and you're going to need 24 hours before you can stream first. At least that's how it was when I first set up my account. So now that we've swapped over to YouTube, you'll see over here that we have manage broadcast. A new button has appeared. So under manage broadcast, you can change the title of your video, its description, whether it's made for kids or not, and also the thumbnail that's going to be on there. And so we'll see right here under manage my first live stream has set up. And as we can see, it has been live for 20 seconds. Excellent connection. Looks good. Zero viewers. It's okay. Anyway, folks, hopefully this tutorial helped out. Definitely go ahead and check out some of my other content. And thanks for watching.